Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to share with you this routine that has been working so well for me lately. I'm going to do a nice, bouncy 90s blowout. And this is going to be kind of like a Dominican blowout, but with a twist. So let's just start with the products that I used in the shower. I actually used the Wella Repair Line, the Ultimate Repair Line, the Shampoo and Conditioner. These two are so amazing. I wish they had a hair mask in this line because... This line is great. It really helps repair heat damage over time. Lately, I have been loving this combo right here, so I wanted to mention it. This is the Color Wow Dream Cocktail Coconut Infused Leave-In Treatment. So I'll apply this first on my hair. It's kind of like a leave-in conditioner. It's amazing. And then I'll do the Color Wow Dream Coat section per section. This is great for frizz. It really controls frizz, and it gives you so much shine. It's insane, especially the extra strength. It is amazing. I even like it more than the original, and the original is great. So yeah, this one is really nice. But I did do this last time, and you're only supposed to use the Color Wild Dream Coat like after three washes, like every three washes. So I don't want to use it again because I just used it like last week. So I am going to use this one since I already used the Well Up products in the shower. I might as well also use this product, which I actually really, really like as well. This is the Ultimate Repair Miracle Hair Rescue Treatment. So this is a spray that you just add on all your hair you can add a pretty good amount actually and this doesn't feel heavy on your hair you're supposed to add from 10 to 18 pumps i believe this is supposed to repair heat damage in 90 seconds i don't know how true that is but let me tell you every time i blow out my hair with this product my hair looks incredible like it really looks like if i just got a deep treatment at the beauty salon it really looks amazing so i really do like these products from wella not sponsored but you guys already know I am a fan of Wella products. Now I'm just going to divide my hair in a couple of different sections because I am going to be using the Dyson Supersonic today. I haven't used this bad boy in a while and let me tell you, this is one of the better blow dryers that I have hands down. It is so good. It dries my hair so quickly and over time it does keep your hair nice and healthy. It does not damage your hair. It doesn't feel too hot on your hair. I like to use this concentrator, like this thinner nozzle, just because it gives me a more focused like concentrated airflow and it gives me a smoother look so i'm just detangling my hair parting my hair into a couple of different sections i am going to do about eight sections or six to eight sections so i'm going to divide it first like this right in the middle and then up here i'm going to divide it again just because this is going to make everything easier i'm going to use my olivia garden round brush this is the xl 55 size and this is like my go-to round brush i also got a new one so i'm going to be using this one maybe for the bangs but yeah i'm going to be linking these down below i'm going to put this in the highest heat setting highest speed and let's get right into it drying the roots first smoothing that out a little bit take the brush put it underneath and also dry very slowly and smooth out the hair as you go down this brush feels so gentle so gentle it is so nice i'm telling you if you haven't tried any of these brushes you have to cut them out <laughs> now i'm gonna dry it from the top and flip the end all right so here's the first section look at that it looks and feels incredible I can't wait to do all my hair. By the way, my lips are a little bit swollen. I hate that. <laughs> I think I'm allergic to shrimp and shellfish, just like shellfish in general, because every time I eat lobster, whenever I eat shrimp, my lips get a little bit swollen. So I don't know if this is something new that happens after I got older, because I used to not be allergic to any of that. But yeah. <laughs> it happens. It happens. So I think I'm gonna stop eating shellfish. <laughs> anyways i'm gonna keep doing my hair um let me bring this down this section i'm gonna do this section now and then i'm gonna do the one back here on this side but anyways guys i'm gonna do all my hair now and then i'm gonna show you guys what i like to do in the humidity when it's like super hot outside so that my blow can last a little bit longer no i'm not gonna use a straightener this is something new something different so keep watching so you can see what i do next so that you can still have that nice 90s blowout look i'll be back once my hair is completely dry and then we'll move on to the next step okay guys so i am done drying my hair it took me about 45 minutes to do all my hair i actually used the smaller round brush for the top sections just to give my hair a little bit more bounce and just to be able to get closer to the roots 
lips and also just to smooth out these baby hairs in the front so yeah this is what my hair is looking like after just a blowout i did try to curl it a little bit just to give my hair a little bit more of you know that 90s blowout look very like voluminous bouncy i'm gonna add a little bit of this olaplex number no. seven bonding oil just a little tiny bit so i'm just putting that on all my hair just to give my hair more shine and also bring down some of these flyaways in the winter this blowout would definitely last me a couple days i would maybe have to just touch up my blowout with my blow dryer maybe like on day three or something um but i wouldn't have to use extra heat i wouldn't have to use a straightener or anything but today i am going to use a little bit of extra heat just because it is very hot outside very humid and my hair is going to get frizzy if i don't do anything else to my hair so i am going to be using this viral round brush that is from amazon it's only like 40 dollars i actually posted a couple of tiktoks about it already and people have been loving these tiktoks like i can't believe that this brush has gone viral it's insane this is kind of gonna act as my straightener but it's gonna give me curls at the same time but first i do want to add some heat protection because you guys already know you got to protect your hair from the heat if you don't your hair is going to get damaged over time, trust me. So I use the IGK Good Behavior Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. I just add a little bit of this on the bottom section and then the top section. So I'm going to take this first section right here. I'm going to smooth out the roots first. Just like that. And then bring the hair tool up. Hold it for a little bit. Don't pull it down from here because that's going to pull your hair. Try to unwrap it and then the ends you're going to want to twist just like roll kind of like a round brush whenever you blow out your hair so just like roll the ends and so there you have it's just like a little a little curl a little something just to smooth out the hair so i'm just going to leave that there i am going to clip my hair but i want to do another section and then clip those two together so here's the other section smooth out the roots and then start to curl the hair unwrap the hair tool and then only on the ends you're going to want to twist the brush you can hold for a little bit twist and let go oh my god i absolutely love that look how much more smooth that looks really use this brush to smooth out those baby hairs and the roots you see how i'm like bringing it up but i'm also unwrapping it as i go I'm not pulling it straight from here. That's going to destroy your hair. Don't do that. Um, but yeah. And then I just twist. I mean, I just freaking love that. That is so nice. So I'm going to clip this section now. Bring it up. I'm going to do the top section now. I am going to also curl away from my face. The bangs, I'm going to actually curl up just to give myself more volume, clip them backwards. And at the end, I am going to add some hairspray. Let my hair set for about 30 minutes and I'll be back with the final look. So it's been 30 minutes and I'm just taking off these clips. Oh my God. <laughs> these curls look amazing. Look at that. Love it. So last one right here look at all these curls so now i'm just gonna kind of like loosen up the curls with my fingers zhuzh it up a little bit sometimes i do have to touch up just the very front pieces so i'm gonna do that right now with the hair tool but everything else looks very very nice let me show you guys the back this is what the back looks like i have so much volume it's insane so i'm just taking the hair tool and just smoothing out this front section real quick just because since my hair was divided, it kind of looked funny. And there you have it. Look at that. So nice. I have been obsessed with this brush. It's crazy how much I use it now. If you guys want to shop anything, as always, I am going to be linking everything down below in the description box. I'm also going to be tagging the products here in the video. Let me know down below if you have tried any of these products or if you have tried any of these tools. I definitely loved everything that I used in this video and I totally recommend all the products and tools that I used. If you are going to use this heat around brush, remember to use it only on dry hair. Do not use this on wet hair. Also, remember to use a lot of heat protection and don't forget to do the method that I taught you guys just now, the unwrap and wrap, bring it back down, unwrap, like don't pull right from the root. Like you don't wanna bring all the hair up 
into the hair tool like wrap it and then pull from the top that's just going to pull your hair so much so remember to always unwrap and then wrap hold unwrap and then twist the ends so yeah guys i hope this video was helpful and let me know in the comments down below what other videos you want to see next blowout season is right around the corner so you guys already know i'm going to be doing a lot of blowout videos very very soon the fall is like the best time to do blowouts on curly hair for me i just really love the fall for blowouts so yeah very excited for the fall and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much